ladies and gentlefolk, I need to be serious for a moment. Now, I need to talk about a subject that may be delicate for some, but I feel that it is time that we talk about this. It affects millions of Americans daily. They do this every day. They use this and they abuse this. Parents do this in front of their children and then they will emulate. They will replicate this behavior. They're even taught it in our schools. What am I talking about? Vocabulary. Now, I know that this might be um, a subject that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but it is time. So say it with me. Vocabulary. And hey, why don't play a game about it? There's words right. Word right is a deck of cards that you can play several different games with. All of the cards have word fragments on them that you'll be using to make complete words. So let me just show you one of the games that you can play. The game that I'll show you is the first one in the instruction booklet and the easiest to learn. This is just called Word Scramble. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up a grid of nine cards. So you set up that grid of nine cards and then you place your deck to the side to refill. Then what you're gonna do is competitively with all the players or you can play this game solo, what you're gonna try to do is you're going to try to complete words. And when you see the word, you yell it out and you pull the cards and then you replace them. So let's see what we got here. We have, um, we have, confine because if you look at the bottom of the card there there is actually um, an alternate spelling of some of the cards so you can use that alternate spelling to um, to tweak your word to make it what you want so I made confine so then I go ahead and I replace this and see what else we can find so we have, ooh, here's a good one. Here's repressive. So repressive uses three of the word, or three of the portions of the word. So I will pull those into my stack. And then we will quickly refill so all the players can try to scramble and make words. If you are playing with multiple players and two players call out a word that uses the same um, portion of the word, Whoever um, calls out the longer word is the correct, or is the one who will go get the points. If you call it the same word, whoever said it first. So let's see, what else can we make? We can make, um, um, how about impossible, if I can grab the card. Impossible. So impossible is another word that you can make. And then you will continue until the entire deck has been depleted. So that is just one game that you can play with WordWrite. WordWrite comes up with this cool little booklet and it has seven different games in it, including the one I just showed you. Um, but they actually encourage you to make your own games up, which is really cool. So this game is fantastic for those with, uh, with kids that are in school that are learning parts of words. Um, it's really cool. One thing I like about the game is that um, while it has the uh, the big text right there, so that way you can read it, if you are on the opposite side of the table, it does have it right there in the color that actually matches the score, and you will um, be able to read it upside down, which is really, really cool, so that we don't have to look at the words upside down. Also, what's really cool on the bottom, or on the side of the cards, they also do have the... Um, the definition, excuse me, 
the definition of the words or the parts of the words so that way you can kind of learn how words work which is really really fun and interesting to learn you can kind of learn how structuring of words came about and learn how just how words work which is really really interesting so this is definitely something to check out this is on kickstarter right now as of the time of this uh, posting it should have um, about a week left to go ahead and back this it has already blasted through its funding goal so this is definitely going to be made and created so please look for this game I'll have a link down below I will also try to put a link down for some of the other games that they posted on their uh, YouTube channel so that you can look those up and you can see the different ways to play there's a really cool pyramid one where you gotta like use the bottom row of the pyramid and you work your way up to try to get to the top of the pyramid and there's some team play and it's just it's, this is a really awesome uh, ed educational but still if you like the word games words with friends that kind of stuff which I am not good at this is better because you have the sections of the words which just work for my brain better so definitely check this out and don't forget, all of my links are right there, easy for you to see. So please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the things, and help support Cloak and Meeple with my Patreon campaign. That would be really appreciated. And thank you for watching.